we lost to the Niners 31 21. Um, I, I, I just don't know. I just don't really know. I feel so sad. I just can't even, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even pissed. It's just, this, this, this year has been like a downwards year. And, um, I mean, like, this, this, this whole game which is like, can we just not give up any points to the Niners? Or can we not give any yards? To the Niners, but it's just been ugly and ugly. Um, I just don't know. We gave it so much rushing yards, so many deep passes and stuff, and I don't know. Eli Man was 28 for 37, 270 yards, and two touchdowns. Now him and, and Aqua Dark was for like fourteen to seventy, and then Sterling Shepard was like a beast. Yeah, eleven yards, eleven receptions for one hundred forty-two yards. Like we could have been better if you know the fictions for like a backup wide receiver were more productive. Like they were like more like out there and stuff. We probably would at least been closer than before because like the defense. I really don't know what happened. We got two turnovers, but it's just like we got two turnovers, but it was nothing. And you hear that like the background noise is it's just um the highlights rims and stuff for the games. And if I'm from a Giants fan, you really do need Zeke and Lee and C um H on Lee on Shine Lee back in the team because it's Lee like those two players. Nothing you can be for a Cowboys fan, cause like Zeke, no offense. Anshan lead, no defense. That's literally how it is, from my point of view, and from a far Giants fan. But um, our defense was getting beat up. Just knowing as Jenkins, I, not everybody's saying what what he's doing wrong and stuff. He wasn't blocking. He wasn't tackling. The guy is one person, and he is gonna be like all over the. It's not George Jenkins on the whole secondary stuff. I don't know what, and then I don't know what Lennon Collins was doing. I don't know what he was the whole game. Um, um, he got Apple. I don't know what he, what he was either. Like, and um, it. It's just like it was. It, it, the Niners looked like it was like their first game of the season, and they just made it look, look look like it was like so easy against us. And it's like because I think every drive they had, it went down the field. That's how terrible our defense for that game. Like we had one stop against that team until like the later of the game. When it didn't matter, but uh, I just now I won and they. And if you're a Niners fan, congratulations on your first win. Go, go, I mean, you probably don't want your first win, but because a, a lot of people might want good draft picks and stuff. But congratulations on your first win. Um. Niners fans, so good for you. Um, I, the people that are saying fire McAdoo, they're probably going to do that. Fire McAdoo, I'm not really sure, but in my in my guess and opinion, he probably would not get fired until like I don't know next year or maybe the end of the year, depending on how. We play, but but because a lot of people want us to lose get a draft pick, a bad draft pick. My offense, you're not a fan if you want a bad draft. A fan cheers for a team, no matter the situation. If you down by fifty points, no offense, but I'm still a, like a team, and I don't really know much about football. 
a lot about that football, about like what they do and stuff. But if your team is struggling and you're like one and eight right now, and, you, and, and like who wants to cheer for a team to lose to get a number one draft pick? Because you're not in that game fighting for a job. You're not in that game to to show what your coach, what you're made of. You're just we're, we're just on sand down on the bleachers. We're at home cheering for our team, seeing if they're gonna win or not. Like we can't be that much of a dig and say, well, I just hope you lose and we get a bad draft pick. Because we're not on the field. We're not on their shoes. They're not in our shoes. We can't just look around and see what would happen. We just got to hope for the better and see what's going to happen. Because cheering for the team to lose, it's just like, oh, I got a million dollars. I'm just going to give it all away to, to... I'm just not going to use that to give away for charity. It's like, what's wrong with you? Half the money can go to charity and you can just keep the half, half of the money. <laughs> Steve Marcusi. Steve um, Marcusi. <laughs> but we're going to be we're one and eight. And then we're going to get the cheese. I don't even know. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know how bad the game might be. I don't know how. But it's just. It is. Oh, and the offensive line. <laughs> Wow. Eli Man just couldn't have no time. <laughs> like, everybody keeps saying Eli Man is like not good. He needs to get his career done. But, but if he's if he was good this year, we wouldn't be saying that. The reason, because everybody's saying, oh, he likes bad because the offensive line situation. It's kind of his moment. It's just on, on this whole year, the offensive line is just keeping from Eli from just just from moving like two steps from the pocket. Because like, if he was a mobile quarterback like Russell Wilson be, like imagine Eli Manning with like a Russell Wilson mobility push potential. Who knows if he would have been doing picks. Out of the pocket if he actually ran out of the pocket. Because with no offensive line, and even though we surprisingly have a running game, it's, it just doesn't seem like. It just doesn't seem right. But. I, I just want. I want. I want. I just want a better year next year. In 2018, and see what we can do to change. Cause I, I just feel it's just upset this year. <sighs> and um, our linebackers, we need. I don't know, but since um Black um, I forgot his name, but he was on our 2011 team, Black something. I forgot his name, but. Since that, our, our linebackers haven't never been healthy. I mean, they they didn't play the best, but they haven't been healthy. Cause on like IR or like you know an injury report, it's all we always have a linebacker injury, and we had a linebacker injury just just this game, like not too long ago. And then Justin Poo, Justin Poo got injured back again. Like, it, I, I just don't know if we can, like, be a better team. Like, because honestly, last year, the only reason we, we was good because our defense was just all over the place. And our offense managed to get close scores and score points. If our defense wasn't there last year, we would we could have been like maybe the same record this year, but then it's just Drew B talking in the background. Um, I just hope for the better next year. 
I hope they don't be too hard on Eli because I know he's not doing so well. But this guy gave you two rings for a reason. This guy gave you the best 2011, 2008, or well, 2012 actually, in 2008 year to win you the Super Bowl. Because basically, we, we could probably never be talking about Eli back in 2007. We could be talking about a different quarterback. Oh, this quarterback is trapped. Can we find a different quarterback to change? Because, hey, if you're a Browns fan, you know you want a quarterback badly. If you're like a quarterback for the Browns and you don't have a quarterback, even though I feel like Kaiser did play well today, the best thing you want is a good player on whatever position he plays. So they can show like, oh, something can be changed on this side, something can change on that side. And here's the thing, thing I never talk about, special teams. I think we never had a special team in so long. Like, I, I, we never had a special team for a long time. I mean, I, that's why I just feel like we just never had a special team on, like, you know, kickoff returns because, like, but. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm I'm just gonna hope for the better next year. I hope Eli May plays for another year or two. Um, I hope they. I hope like the players that we have on our field that people think or just try and they need to get out of here can like just learn from like last year and just keep going forward and like even the offensive line like because you don't want to because i know a fresh offensive line could be better but some of my offensive line players like justin Pugh and 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 if and and if if um eric flowers was on the right side of tackle because he was a right tackler before. Um, and then he went to left tackle. And got drafted as a left tackler. If that was, then who knows how this? I mean, that's just that, I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. I'm talking stupid now. Um, but I just hope for the very next year. And, um. Thanks for watching. I just I don't know. I hope Odell feels better next year too. Um, you know, Brandon Marsh will be better and have a, a better, better year next year because it's just like who who knows how this be, um seven games will be. So, thank you for watching. Bye.